Hello there, my name is Peter. I'm the owner of the company WebAcom. I'm looking for a web developer, uh, somebody who can help me build websites. And uh, there is a specific way that we build websites. Uh, first off, we have a graphic designer who puts uh, websites together for us. And uh, once the graphic designer uh, finishes the graphic design work, you will pretty much get uh, a page, uh, a folder uh, that contains um, different pages home services uh, blog about page uh, depends on the number of pages that's there uh, let's have a, look, have a look at the home page when we go to the home page you'll get uh, the jpeg file of how the page looks and also you'll get the pdf file uh, so you can actually copy and paste um, text you don't have to retype it also you're going to get a word document that contains a specific fonts that were used uh, with Google fonts and uh, colors that are used within the website and uh, this is an example of a PDF file that you'll get with the design and design and the way that it's going to look now what the, what's missing from this uh, graphic design is the um, the block module because uh, all of our elements here you can see they uh, they resemble specific blocks blocks of elements so we have those blocks pre-programmed already so you don't really need to program them again we can just uh, quickly drag and drop them almost like drag and drop so um but you have to use our library of of elements now i'll show you the way that the library of elements works and how we configured it uh, it is located on a different website uh, the website is called acf boot that's where our library of elements is. I have created a temporary access code uh, for you to be able to access all of the uh, scripts here to play around before you apply to this uh, to this job. So make sure you know how to uh, work within it. So we're going to just try to log in here. Um, click login at the top right corner, and we're going to add your information here developer and then the password click login okay so you're logged in so now that you're logged in you'll be able to access all of our uh, scripts uh, to access the script you just uh, click expand on the element you can just copy HTML um, in CSS this is a header for example right so we're just going to copy the header um, then we're going to go to a header of the website I already have a header here um, but let's say we didn't have this header I would just add it just like that so we have a header uh, that basically is um, you pop it in and off and it starts to work now you're wondering probably what is the theme that we're using we're not using any specific theme uh, the theme that we developed uh, it's basically a blank page using underscores um, and you can uh, you can access it by going to um, over here new template within the new template you can just download it right here and then you'll be able to see all of the file structures uh, same file structure that I have here and it comes with bootstrap and everything preloaded for you uh, the theme does need to get updated uh, we'll probably do that eventually but um, it's it provides us with a good blank page to start from uh, so similarly uh, we do uh, pretty much the same thing with all of the other elements uh, when we are building a website uh, for the home page, for example, you have Hero image, right? Uh, different Hero images that we have assembled. Uh, let's have a look at, at this one, for example, Hero image SB. So to use it, we just uh, copy HTML, copy CSS, HTML. Um, so we want ACF, we want advanced custom fields integration. We copy HTML, then we go to uh, we're going to go to uh, template home and then you can see that I've actually added it already because I'm building a website right now for another company but um, not this this is a different version here let me just copy it again copy 
Oh, did I mix up? Code only. Oh, without ACF. Yeah, we need with advanced custom fields. So, paste it here. You can see that it has advanced custom fields integration built in right here. Then uh, we copy CSS file. We're going to add CSS file right directly into the uh, CSS folder right over here. And in order to um, make sure that our advanced custom fields functions properly, we download the JSON file, which is which sits inside the uh, zip file. So we need to uh, export it to let's say desktop SB. And then once we do that, then we log in into the client's website. Um, let's go to client's website. Um, well, for example, this one, successsolutions.com, right? We just built it recently. So once inside, you go to uh, custom, uh, custom fields, tools, then you choose the file select the file on the desktop that we have just exported okay so here is the file as we we click that we click open and then when you click import the file it will appear right over here that it has been imported once it's imported you go to um you make sure that it's uh the advanced custom fields um is configured properly to that specific page again uh, to apply to this position, you really should be uh, knowledgeable about advanced custom fields plugin. Um, it's really important to use it within the development work that we're doing. But you pretty much have it here. Uh, you just add logo, you add the text, you add the links, and uh, off you go. Pretty much that's how every single uh, module on this page is configured. It's configured through advanced custom fields, and it all relates back to advanced custom fields library. So whenever you're going to get um, design files from us, you will have a PDF file. And this one, again, this one doesn't have it, but you will have specific uh, block names uh, associated with, uh, with which it's each specific module that you see on the, on the front end. So uh, it really takes uh, not that much time to assemble a website when we follow this procedure. There's quite a bit of uh, time that w uh, times that we actually need to build uh, a new module because you can see that this um, library is not uh, assembled fully yet. So we have uh, sliders that's not that aren't here, um, icons and logos. We have a couple of modules, but we want to have more. So you'll be involved in putting new modules together. But um, in order to put a new module together, I'll explicitly tell you that we don't have that specific module and it's not located in advanced custom fields and it will need to be created so there's going to be additional tasks uh, like that so uh, if you are interested in uh, building the websites in the way that we are building uh, feel free to uh, apply to the position and um, try to assemble a couple of websites yourself i mean you have all of the tools you have uh, access to the library of scripts um, you have the specific template so you're welcome to try it out uh, let me know how it goes uh, this is not going to be there open forever i'm going to delete this uh, access once i find the developer okay thanks